explains how local governance and businesses can stimulate sustainable development. This process can be rather challenging and complex, as the actors engaged in it vary widely in their motivations and preparedness for sustainable development. Their diversity is also reflected in their sustainability-related action plans, policies and strategies. Goal alignment and continuous communication, as well as relationship and trust building, are often required throughout the developmental process for successful joint and complementary engagement of diverse stakeholders in sustainable development. A case study performed in the municipality of Kuchilje, a remote and less developed but forest-rich area in Slovenia, is presented. This is because the case illustrates a possible strategic approach to promoting sustainable development at the municipal level. That is, an approach focused on multi-stakeholder collaboration and attraction of sustainable foreign direct investments. Let us first define sustainable development. The United Nations Brundtland Commission report defines sustainable development as the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. The main goal of such development is to achieve long-term stability of the economy, society and environment alike. This is also the overall objective of Sustainable Development Goals, or the so-called SDGs, adopted in the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development on the 25th of September 2015. Throughout its 17 SDGs, and 169 targets, this agenda aims to foster development holistically in five critical areas – people, planet, prosperity, peace and partnership. The principles of sustainable development include non-substitutability of capital, intergenerational equity, the polluter pays and precautionary principles, as well as the principle of integrated decision-making. The first, that is the principle of non-substitutability of capital, suggests that the unique features of natural resources cannot be replaced by manufactured capital. Intergenerational equity, on the other hand, refers to the long-term scale of sustainability and its addressing the needs of future generations rather than solely the current needs. The polluter pays principle highlights that the internalized environmental costs related to an activity arise even for minimal externalities, whereas the precautionary principle refers to the proponent of any activity needing to prove that this activity will not cause significant harm. Finally, the integrated decision-making is a principle that advocates the consideration of intertwined environmental, societal and economic dimensions in all aspects of decision-making. Several factors have contributed to the municipality of Kuchilje following the principles of sustainability and engaging in sustainable local development. Let us look at some of the most prominent factors in more detail. This remote and once underdeveloped municipality faced numerous developmental issues, including a high unemployment rate, emigration of young and skilled inhabitants as well as businesses from the region, even more so after the global recession, absence of locally created value added, especially in the wood industry, and the related sales of raw materials at a low price. However, the municipality was also rich in woods and owned a large proportion of forests in the region. This acted as a foundation for the establishment of a forest supply chain that would leverage the municipality's natural resources through the collaboration of multiple stakeholders from the wood industry towards sustainable development. The forest supply chain was the municipality's first step towards building a sustainable ecosystem. This process requires several activities. First, developing a sustainability-oriented strategy refers to drafting and writing up activities needed to achieve the set goals, also in collaboration with other stakeholders. Second, securing businesses and other stakeholders' engagement in sustainable actions involves promoting a sustainable mindset, securing sustainable resources and providing information about the value of sustainability for each stakeholder group. Third, promotion of relationship building, which includes support for networking and facilitation of value chain formulation, is also relevant for the development of a sustainable business ecosystem. 
and so is the facilitation of sustainable innovations. Finally, attracting sustainable foreign direct investments is particularly relevant for the less developed locations, where local stakeholders can rarely provide sufficient funds and other resources for sustainable development, including the state-of-the-art technology required to achieve it. The case of Kochiwe especially highlights the importance of multi-stakeholder goal alignment and continuous as well as systematic multi-stakeholder collaboration for building a sustainable business ecosystem. Historically, attracting foreign direct investment, that is FDI, focused mainly on economic dimensions such as capital, employment, exports or technology transfers, at times even at the expense of societal and environmental dimensions. The latter are now also gaining more attention this is because businesses and other stakeholders are becoming increasingly aware of the importance of sustainability. Locations competing for FDI can thus actively pursue it through establishing location-specific competitive advantages based on sustainability. Especially the less attractive locations need to formulate tailored policies aimed at investors to overcome their domestic shortcomings that can impede foreign investors' motivation for engagement in these locations and the related smooth integration of domestic firms into supply chain networks worldwide. Locations wishing to attract sustainable FDI, that is, FDI that contributes to a location's sustainable development and at the same time yields sufficient profits to maintain effective corporate management, need to promote and engage in activities that help businesses move up the value chain and that build a knowledge-based economy focused on developing skills needed for green innovations that contribute to an environmentally sustainable economy. Some examples of other spillover effects of sustainable FDI on host locations include provision of vital infrastructure like ICT, energy or automation for development, improved image and rebranding of the host location that makes it more attractive for additional investors, knowledge transfer onto local staff and businesses, as well as networking and integration of domestic businesses in global value chains. With a sustainability-oriented mindset, adopted by all key stakeholders, and a sustainable ecosystem established, local as well as national and supranational administrations can start attracting and implementing sustainable FDI. The figure on the slide illustrates the basic steps that facilitate sustainable development in the FDI promotion cycle and the role of local governments in this process. The process starts with the identification of target sectors that have the capacities, competencies and capabilities to contribute to the local sustainable development. The next step involves communication efforts aimed at awareness raising about the potential benefits of sustainability and establishing multi-stakeholder commitment to them, also through nurturing a sustainable culture. These efforts can be strengthened by complementary communication at the national level. Once commitment to sustainability is achieved, municipalities can start selecting sustainable development-oriented projects and looking for suitable partners for their realization. Informing potential partners about the characteristics of a location can be a pull factor in attracting investors to a municipality or a region, whereby provision of information about both the opportunities and potential challenges is crucial for investors to be able to make informed decisions and prepare effective action plans. Goal alignment, continuous and reciprocal feedback as a basis for flexibility of the partnership, along with relationship and trust building with partners, is crucial. Municipalities can also support interested parties in their search for projects and partners that match their sustainable development goals and the related action plans. Provision of aftercare and feedback on the outcomes of collaboration is moreover essential for long-term relationship building with investors and other stakeholders. Reverse feedback from stakeholders can furthermore be used for the formulation of future policy actions and strategies. All in all, Municipality engagement can be extremely effective in attracting sustainable FDI to specific locations, as local administrations have detailed information about these micro-locations, 
are able to introduce improvements quickly also in response to the investors' needs, as well as possess a sense of responsibility for the local community and environment, or are pressed to develop it by their voters, often more so than at the national and supranational levels. Desirable outcomes of sustainable foreign direct investments are more likely achieved if these investments are integrated in local, national and regional sustainable development strategies and plans. However, sustainable development goals or SDGs are often missing from corporate as well as local, regional and national strategies. Achieving sustainable development also requires engagement, commitment and collaboration by a wide range of stakeholders, including local administration, business actors and citizens. The case of Cochilia is an example of how foreign direct investments can be included in local strategies aimed at sustainable development and engaged for their realization. The case thereby illustrates that sustainable development achieved through FDI requires building sustainable ecosystems and sustainability-oriented culture, continuous engagement and cooperation among diverse stakeholders, especially the subnational, national and supranational administrations and businesses, as well as a focus on attracting sustainable FDI. Thank you.